Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. David Adelaide destroys Phil Williams in three rounds. He doesn't really get stopped that much, so he must be uh, pleased with yourself, David, tonight. Yeah, good performance. I'm happy I stopped him. Um, could have done a, a bit more. Could have threw a bit more, like a different variety of shots. But, you know, at the end of the day, I got him out of there, and that was the main thing. Smashing that jab uh, in his yeah. face all night. Uh, yeah, the, the jab was impressive tonight. Thank you, man. A few people said that to me, so it must, be, it must have been good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I was doing it in the gym. Um, like I said, I was sparring people that are a lot smaller than me, like the cruisers, and I sparring a lot of fast heavyweights, and my jab was blinding them. So I knew we would do it to him. That's three stone heavier than me. I feel like uh, the work you're doing with Frank Greaves, obviously teamed up with recently, is uh, paying off so far, David. 100%. I mean, you look at the fights that I'm doing now compared to um, my debut, I think I'm doing a lot of different things. And uh, so I'm thinking a lot more. I'm starting to kind of get an adjust to the programme. To be fair, he's standing right there, so it'd have been a bit peak if you said no. No, come in, Frank. I mean, <laughs> this is the man. This is the man. This is the man. Uh, I mean, yeah, man, we're doing it in the gym, I suppose. And um, one thing I've got to say is Frank don't give me no easy days at the end of the day. So he calls the shots, so I just listen. Um, I'm the student, he's the teacher, so it's all about learning. Give me the uh, trainer's view of uh, tonight's events, Frank, please. Uh, Pretty much punch perfect. I would have liked David maybe to have settled down just a little bit earlier. Um, second round, I think he probably looked to, to load up and take him out with one shot. But every time he put his shots together, um, threw punches in twos and threes, used his jab, he looks absolute class. I mean, we keep on having this, is he big enough, is he big enough, is he big enough? You know what? He hits like he's 18 stone, yet he moves like he's 13 stone. And that combination... You know, they can't, they can't deal with the speed. And as soon as he starts to put those shots together with that hand speed and that power, everyone's going to struggle. It's going to, be, it's going to be a rude awakening for a lot of people. He said he feels like he's improved under you so far. Obviously, you did the, the first fight after lockdown with him. Since then, till now, seen improvements uh, in the ring tonight? Yeah, li um, literally every single sparring session, every pad session, there's something new, there's something different. He's probably the quickest learner that I've seen so far. Um, and pretty much the game plan for tonight was just to take three or four of these little things that we've been, that we've been working on in the gym into the fight. And we saw the variety. We saw the up and down jab. We saw the body shots. The left hook to the body works absolutely lovely tonight. Um, yeah, it was, oh, it, was, it was pretty much punch perfect as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, this whole Frank Warren Matram thing going on at the moment, there's some good heavyweights on that side. Fabio Wardley, Alan Babich. Uh, eyes on anyone? David, you, I know you take anyone. I take all of them. Um, they can feed me Babbage first and then I'll take Woodley after that on the same night. I mean, I don't know what other heavyweights that they really have. At the same time, I don't want to start calling out these heavyweights. I mean, I heard Woodley's a nice guy. No one really says nothing bad about him to me. So this is boxing. Yeah. Exactly that. It's part of the game. So uh seems like a nice guy at the same time. So I ain't going to start calling them out. I mean, I'm looking onto bigger and better things at the end of the day. He's just domestic level. The aim to kind of get to world level. Same thing with Babbage. Never heard of him until last week. So I don't really know nothing about him. Um, I just saw him box that, what's his name, Sean Del Wint? Yeah, Sean Del Wint. Yeah. I saw him box him for about a round and a half, two rounds, so I don't really know nothing about him, but uh, I mean, if these facts are given to me, then I'm definitely going to take them. There's no way I'd say no to them. At the same time, though, Frank, there is no rush, is there, with David? No, no, no. I mean, obviously, you know, we've not been together that long. Um, there's no rush. He's, he's 23 years of age, but we'll take the fights as they come. Um, yeah, pretty much whoever they feed us, we're going to be ready for. Okay, Frank, David, well done tonight. Appreciate Been a good week with you and uh, hopefully see you back out in action soon, all right? Thank you, mate. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. Nice one.